say people don't take this show seriously. It's Nick Hell. What's your name? It's Nick Hell. This is just a little sample of the stuff I do. Whoa! I never want to see you two again. Absolutely disgusting, and I loved it. You are going through to the semi finals. I don't really think being in the semi final has sunk in. This is the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm getting married in June, I don't think I'll be as nervous for that. I'm Nick's assistant and I'm also his fiance. I definitely worry a lot when he's performing on stage. It's not something anybody wants to see. It is torture. In its own unique way, it is something that is quite beautiful. Nick Hell shocks people. I think people are going to lap it up. I find him irresistible to watch. Tonight I wanted to take the level of danger up. If it does go wrong, it'll go drastically wrong and he could end up in hospital. Tonight's show is going to be ten times more bizarre, ten times more dangerous, ten times more exciting. I want people talking about this for the rest of their lives. Now, what Nick is about to do is very, very dangerous, so please don't try this at home. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Hell. Let's see why they buzzed you. Piers, why, why did you stop him? Look, this is the problem. There's always one act you put through to the semi-finals when, on reflection, when you watch them again, you realise you've made a terrible mistake. Really? And, for me, you are it tonight. Because the reality is, you're disgusting, your ears are repulsive, the whole thing makes me feel physically sick, and I think I speak on behalf of all of us. I say, if we never see you again, it's too early. I think people like, it's, it's different, it's bizarre, it's something strange. It's definitely unusual, you can't argue with that. It's and I think everyone's starting repulsive. to get into it, we just had one more thing to do, the Amanda, big finale. Were you starting to get into it? Um, I, the thing is, is I don't think Piers should get personal. It's a hideously revolting <laughs> act. act. Thank you. And I, you know, I hate myself for kind of still wanting to see what was going to happen with the chainsaw, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't allow it, I just think it's not entertainment. That's Simon, it. you were the first to buzz while he had a drill in his nose. That was thoughtful. Um. <laughs> well, worse was to come. Look, the, the, the idea, uh, and I mean this seriously, that we put you two in front of the royal family while you're doing things with a cucumber and he's got a chainsaw <laughs> is just unacceptable. Um, something you can do at home behind closed doors, <laughs> but uh, this is not family entertainment. Um. Well, Simon, it hasn't been used. You want another go? I'll, I'll take the apple. Actually, could you use the chainsaw on Simon? Because that might be. Well, no apple. 
No, no, fair enough. Let's let's put that down, shall we? Let's put that down. You did get you did get three X's. Thank you very much, judges. Now, unless you vote for Nick, this could be the end of the line for him. If you want to see him in Saturday's final, the number to call is 090-11-3222-06. But remember, the lines aren't open yet, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, Nickel. Thanks, guys. Remember at this stage, it's not up to them, it's up to you. Your votes can put any one of tonight's acts in the final and change their lives forever. Uh, time for a quick break, but we'll be back in a few minutes with the last two semi-finalists of the night. Don't you dare go anywhere. See you in a couple of minutes.